G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Friday afternoon here in Australia, the market is down 7.9%, got up to just over $3 trillion total market cap and now it is down to $2.5 trillion and continuing to dip. So we'll have to wait and see where the bottom is. You know, we've had a fairly decent correction already. I think we're probably pretty close, but again, we'll have to wait and see. There's a lot of people panicking on Twitter at the moment and all going crazy. You know, oh my God, it was the double top and it's over and this is it. You know, we're going back to 50,000 and 40,000 and 30,000 and, you know, all kinds of crazy numbers. Now, look, I'm not saying that's impossible. I'm just saying you need to have, you know, you need to be smart about it. Uh, and that is probably unlikely considering how much money is being poured into this space at the moment. Big business, institutions and that are pouring millions and millions, like hundreds of millions. And even what was that $1.5 billion fund that was raised the other week, our biggest uh, venture capital sort of put into crypto ever. I don't think Bitcoin's going down to 30,000 or 20,000 anytime soon. I'm not saying it couldn't, I just don't think so. Now, I must say, nothing I ever say is financial advice. Remember that, it's always just my personal opinion. But people saying those kind of things aren't taking in everything that's really happening in this entire space. All right, Bitcoin dominance under 43%, down to 42%, possibly going lower. We'll have to wait and see. There's volume though, like the dip is being bought. It's just more people are panicking and selling at the moment than people are buying, but people are buying the dip and I'm one of them. I said in my video the other day, uh, I'm buying. I was, you know, lucky and it wasn't just luck, but there was a bit of luck in there, but an educated guess. Look, when I saw the total market cap at 3 trillion, it was 3.05 trillion. I took some profits, a very small percent. I think about 5% of my total portfolio, uh, I took profits. And almost within hours after that, the market started to turn down. And I've been able to buy back pretty much everything that I sold at a 20 to 30% discount. And I've been able to increase my Bitcoin stack and I've got cash on the side with buy orders for a number of things uh, in place and look at the moment it looks like they may get filled we'll have to wait and see maybe not but things you know the weekend's still to come uh, and things most likely not guaranteed will probably come down a little bit more over the weekend before they start to fire up but let's have a look all right bitcoin 55,000 almost at 56,000 it got down to 53 uh, but it's just kind of fluctuating. And again, I think we still may have another leg down before the weekend is over. And we'll have to wait and see what happens next week. Gas prices, uh, you know, under $10, which is good. But that is a basic transaction. And that's because there's a bit of panic in the market. Now, again, the market is down 7.9%. So it's nearly 8%. What's done well? Because there's always outliers. All right, manner. Sand, Gala, and Engine. So basically Metaverse stuff still doing extremely well. They're bucking the trend. And that may sort of continue for a little while, but even these will have cool-offs. And if the market really does continue to sort of go down, these will be affected at some point as well. But look, only a couple of good double-digit gains, and then there's only a couple of single-digit gains, and then we're really, you know, we're into the losses. So that's what we want to have a look at because, you know, gains are always good, but mostly the market's down. So what's been hit the hardest? There we do. There we there we do. There we go. Cardana, Cardana, sorry, has been hit pretty hard. It pumped really hard. Helium's been hit pretty hard. You know, lots of double digit losses. I mean, have a look at that sort of right across the board. We got to come down to number 25 before we get into single digit losses and even then we're seeing some you know reasonable size single digit losses so the market has been hit hard and again still got the weekend to go but options and things like that are all sort of happening as well we'll have to wait and see what happens there i think we can definitely come down a little bit lower i'm not expecting us to go too much lower though now let's have a look at bitcoin all right so here's where we were, and again, right up here was around the $3 trillion mark for the total market cap of crypto, and now it has just fallen off. And I mean, look at that, Bitcoin. It's at a basically 19% dip already. Now, standard corrections in a bull market for Bitcoin are about 20%, so we're very, very close to that right now. And that's what makes me think that we are sort of close to the bottom. 
Now, I did say the other day I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin over the next few days didn't come down and bounce off this line. Well, again, it hit that line and went straight through. So for me, I had a buy uh, in and around about sort of there. I thought, yep, that's going to be a good place to buy because of the profits I'd taken. Now, I also have a buy order in and around here. I mean, very, very close. It must be getting ready to be triggered any moment now. Now, there's no guarantees it'll make it, but I just think over the weekend... I think it's a good chance we come down to 55,000, sort of 300 thereabouts, maybe even lower. But a lot of people are thinking we're probably going to come back down and retest kind of the $53,000 level. So for me, I've got buy orders set in. Now, I've only got one more buy order for Bitcoin, and then I've put in buy orders for other altcoins that I really wanted to scale in. Now, I stink. I still... I stink. <laughs> Excuse me. I still think we're going up to 88,000. But it was just never going to be that easy. It wasn't just simply going to happen overnight. And I think we've still got a little bit more pain to go to really scare everybody out before we start to go back up. But I think it happens probably before we get to 52,000. But we'll wait and see. So again, we'll, I still think we're going up. I don't think this was a double top and it's rolled over and given up considering all the money that's being piled into cryptocurrencies at the moment. But again, the big players are going to do everything they can to shake out the little players. The strong will survive. You know, those diamond hands uh, are needed to really make it. But also, you can't just be, well, you can. You can be a hodler for life if you want. But sometimes it's a good idea to take profits again. It worked for me. I took profits up around about here. And I've been able to buy pretty much all my coins back at a discount put extra into Bitcoin and I've got cash on the side to continue to buy more if it continues to go down. So it's worked out very well for me. Now again, none of this is ever financial advice though. It's always just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. If you like my advice, uh, that's great. Go down and give me a click and a like, but don't follow it simply because you think that I'm some yeah, savant or something like that. I am not. You, you need to, you know, do you and probably get some financial advice if you really don't know anything about advising. Uh, sorry, about investing, not advising, about investing. All right, let's have a look. Ethereum, same thing. I was lucky. I sold Ethereum at around about $4,770 because it was just getting close. And again, it was the whole market cap thing. And I've already been able to buy back some Ethereum, uh, I think it was 41,000 and something, so probably somewhere around about here. That sounds about right. I've probably bought there and it's continued to go lower, but I've also got another buy order in that I think is going to be triggered any minute now if it hasn't already been triggered. Well, actually, no, I think it's down here, so we're still uh, not quite there. I think it's around about there. It's in Australian dollars, so it's hard to know. We're not too far off, and I think it'll probably get triggered over the weekend, but if it doesn't, that's okay, then I've still got cash sitting on the side for whenever we have another dip. But I definitely think Ethereum is probably going to come down and retest kind of 4,000, 3,900 down somewhere around about here. So again, what you want to do is you want to buy into people's fear. When everyone's fearful and, oh God, it's crashing, ah, oh, scale into it, set buy limits. Look, it may go lower than 3,900, so maybe set a buy order at sort of 4,000, set another one at uh, 3,800, then another one at 3,700, another one at 3,600, and so on and so on. Because we don't know where the bottom is, and then when it starts to go up, and it's done something like this, where it's hardly had any corrections, and everyone else is buying and super stoked, that's where you can consider taking some profits. That is, you know, investing and trading, which I don't do a lot of, but I do a little of, at its core. You buy into other people's fear and you sell to other people's greed. That's how you make money. It's easier said than done because the human psyche says, no, no, we don't want to buy things that are falling. But when you, once you can get past that, because I can tell you right now, when I took profits up the top, I didn't know whether it was going to go down or up. And I've taken profits way below. Last time I took profits from Bitcoin was at about 1700 and it never went back there. I had to buy back in at 2100 after it went to 4400 So, you know, it, it is what it is. But it was profits. It wasn't really a loss. Uh, I made profits from others and so it all worked out in the wash. But keep an eye out for Ethereum to go a little bit lower. Again, I don't think it's going to go too much lower, but I think it's going to come down to the $4,000 uh, level. And again, definitely, pos 
not definitely, possibly, but I think it could definitely come down to sort of 3,800-ish. That wouldn't surprise me at all. I don't know if we go much lower than that, but we'll wait and see. All right, Solana. Again, this is, I got onto Solana late. I could have bought it back here, and I definitely could have bought it back here, uh, and I should have bought it somewhere back here, but I didn't. I bought it way up sort of around where it is now, 170 ish dollars. But you got to sometimes just admit when you're wrong. And that's what I did. I thought this was all VCs and just pumping up the price, but the adoption is growing. And so I bought in. And look, it's dipped and I've bought some more because here's my line. This is the rough fair value of Solana. I think it's undervalued at the moment. So I bought some more Solana and I did that with the profits that I took. So the Solana that I'm buying now, it's not actually costing me anything. It's from the profits that I took only sort of about a week ago. So this is almost like free Solana. And I've set in some more buy limits. So again, my first buy limit already got triggered and I've got another one. Again, I can't remember exactly what the prices are on the conversions, but it's literally only a few dollars down from where it is, another buy order. And then look, if that gets triggered and we continue to go down, I'll continue to set buy orders uh, for Solana. Now, I'm not going all in and going crazy on Solana because I got in so late, but that is how you make money. Again, buy people's fear, sell to people's greed, or take profits. You don't have to sell everything, but take profits into people's greed. Right, Matic. Look at this. Big sideways accumulation. Same thing. I made, I sold a very small amount of my Matic because I bought in at like sort of two cents, somewhere sort of down here thereabouts and it just did so well and now with the profits from that again i bought bitcoin and it looks like i may be able to buy all my matic back at a at a discount as well so again so far i think i've bought back three quarters of all the coins that i sold about a week ago at a discount bought more bitcoin bought more uh, solana and again i've got buy orders and if things play out like I think they might over the weekend, I literally will have bought back all my coins uh, at a discount. And again, you know, bought more Solana, bought more Ethereum and bought more Bitcoin with all of that as well. But at the moment, I, <laughs> there's so much adoption going on with Polygon at the moment. I think what you're seeing here is going to end up being something like this. A lot of sideways action, chop all over the place, up and down before it gets another big move up whenever we have that sort of blow off top. Now, I don't think the blow off top's kind of, you know, gonna happen in December like everyone else thinks it is. I think there's gonna be ebbs and flows. And again, I think it comes later in the year. I think anywhere from sort of March through to maybe November next year is where we get a blow off top. Now, that's just me again, never financial advice. But at the moment, again, big sideways action. I think just Polygon is a good buy at the moment. And to me, it looks like it's under its fair value at the moment. This is when it's way above. This is when it's below. And again, you can grab this line and you can move around and say, nah, that's more like where it gets more touches. All right, cool. Still undervalued. Or some people might say, nah, well, that's where it gets us the most touch points. All right, if that's the case, then it's way undervalued. So again, I always like to just kind of take the mean roughly from sort of where it is. Excuse me, around about there. Looks like it's undervalued massive accumulation so again polygon for me that's one of my picks and if it keeps going down i'm going to keep buying more all right v chain same thing i bought it at such a cheap price it did so well so i sold some v chain a little while ago and with the profits uh bought other coins and i've bought half my v chain back and i will be looking to buy the other half back if it continues to dip so i like v chain and again <laughs> A lot of these charts have something similar. We've got massive sideways action going for months. Yes, it's been higher. Yes, it's been lower. But the volatility on these is sort of getting less and less and less. And I just get the feeling like they're ready to explode. Here's my fair value line. Looks to me like it's under fair value. Imagine if this ends up doing something like this, but not getting to here on here because that's not much, but doing something like this kind of gap from where it is right now. Imagine how high that could push, you know, I don't know about 70 cents, but imagine it gets to something like 50 cents from where it is right now at 12 cents. That's a pretty crazy gain. And that's the kind of things I'm looking at. All right, Dot, again, got so, again, it wasn't just luck, but there's definitely luck involved. 
I sold Dot at a roundabout sort of here, around about $20 thereabouts. And I've already bought all my Dot back at around about a 30% discount thereabouts. And if it continues to drop, then I'm going to continue to buy more because I think Dot is super undervalued. And one of the reasons is Akala has finally won the first Polkadot parachain. hundred, sorry, $1.3 billion was secured. Where does that $1.3 billion come from? Polkadot tokens. So a lot of the polka dot tokens are now getting locked up. It means there's going to be less and less available supply. So I think the price of polka dot will get ready to explode because there's not just one parachain coming, there's a few. And that means more and more polka dot is going to be locked up. Now ADA, same thing. I got lucky. I bought ADA very, very cheap. I think I bought it at sort of, you know, eight cents and three cents and five cents, something like that. I took some profits and it's been going down and I have been able to buy back half of the ADA that I sold and I have another buy order. Again, it's not too far from where it is. I think it's a little bit cheaper uh, than where it is. So that is how I'm playing this at the moment. I'm setting buy orders in. I'm scaling into people's fear and when everyone's getting super greedy and bullish, I'm then scaling out, not completely out, but taking profits. And that's how I play the game, and that's how I plan to get it ahead. Now, last but not least, I spoke the other day that this is for my Australian viewers. The Commonwealth Bank is getting into crypto. So they're running a pilot program at the moment for some of its members. If you're a member with Commonwealth Bank, go speak to them about it. But next year, at some stage, they're rolling out cryptocurrencies to everyone who's a customer throughout all of Australia. And the reason I bring that up is because they were doing their crypto custody through Gemini. And Gemini has just raised $400 million and that has raised their valuation to $7.1 billion. This is the first time Gemini have raised money outside. It was all sort of privately owned, really. Now, one of the people that got into this raise was the Commonwealth Bank. So they are going big into cryptocurrencies bit by bit. The other banks are going to follow, but look who else got in. Morgan Creek Digital, Jay-Z's Marcy Ventures Partners, uh, 10T, New Flow Partners, and Parify. So, you know, that's, uh, again, you know, all these people talking about, oh, this is it, Bitcoin's now going to 20,000 and 30,000 and 10,000. I'm not saying that's impossible, but when there's massive amounts of money keep getting poured into the space, hundreds of millions of dollars, and I can't remember who it was now, but I spoke about it the other day, the biggest uh, VC uh, amount of money was put into crypto, literally only about a week and a half ago, $1.5 billion, uh, a crypto fund from a VC firm, a Valkyrie or someone like that, I can't remember who it is off the top of my head now, with all that money coming into this space, what makes you think this market is about to, you know, Bitcoin's about to go down to $30,000? Not impossible, but just what's the probability? Highly, highly unlikely, considering it's all just being gobbled up and particularly on these dips. Like I said, I'm buying these dips and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, you know, smart money, I can guarantee you they are buying these dips. You know, you go and look at the amount of Bitcoin that's left on exchanges, the amount of Ethereum that's left on exchanges, it keeps dwindling. Yes, there's going to be dips. Sometimes they'll be 20% like they pretty much are now or 30%. But I don't think they're going to go that much lower yet. We've got such a long way to go before this is over again. I think it's going to be March to November next year before we get a blow off top. But you know, who knows? You know, hindsight's a, a wonderful thing, they say, but it's only good because uh, you can look back on it. It'll be good if you knew it uh, in advance. All right, look, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on the gain train at the moment, but this is where you can make the most amount of gains in the end when it does go up, buying that fear. All right, I'll see you next time.